Okay, I'm live. All right. Um, I know this is a long overdue video, but I want to give you guys a rundown. Um, basically, this is part one of my collection series. I would eventually do a part two. Stay tuned for that. I don't know when I would be making it, but part one is just general. Part two would be. Um, I'll go into my collection a bit more detail, but I want to do this part one. So let's begin. All right, as you guys can see, this is my uh, this is my um, bum bed right here, and um, this is where I sleep. Uh, let me turn down the, the music a little bit. Again, I'm using the music from my computer. I think that's a little bit too loud for, for my liking, so I'll turn it down. So this is where I sleep. That's my exercise ball, but right on top, as you guys can see, is where my airplane connections are. Now, in part two of the video, I'll take all these downs and show you my collection in more detail, but let's start out with this. So this is the Edge 540. Um, one of my friends gave it to me. Um, again, most of these things have been donated. Um, so that's a 3D plane that does acrobatics. And this plane right here is a modified um, cub. It's a modified flight test cub that I modified. It used to be a high wing. So this wing goes on top. Um, so this used to be a high wing, but I obviously, you know, um, make it low wing because why? Why did I do that? Because I don't like doing with bubble band. That's one of the reasons. Another reason is I don't. Um, I like the flight characteristics of a low wing because um, you know you, you've seen those World War II warbirds, right? They're low wing, and what does that make them? They're better at rows, so I just like that flight characteristic of a low wing. Um, not to mention, in my opinion, low wing looks cooler. Um, so we have two quads right here. Um, this is um, called, these are kind of classified as tiny whoops. I have a sky zone, so it's just right here. I have a sky zone thing, it's O2C. Um, so these are the FPV goggles. I'm gonna lift this plane out of the way real quick. So, see, this is the O2C goggles that I have beneath. Um, I have a pusher glider on top. And right below that, I have these, um, I have this, I mean, I, I did a video on this aircraft, this one right here. Um, it, light, it lights up at dark, so, you know, you, I mean, I will link it to it in the description. I mean, I mean I'll link it to it right, right here. You should see it. Um, it's, um, it has lights, I did a video on that. Uh, let's see what else we got. These aircraft right here, are again, are donated to me by my friends. Shout out to Vaughn. Vaughn donate, donated these two planes. I think his name is Tito. He gave me this plane. And I think that's Frank. He gave me that plane. Um, again, this one I brought. A flight test kit and I converted that. This one, I made it with one of my good friend. Um, this is, the, I think, believe this is the FT Sportster. Um, again, I didn't do any decoration on this thing. Um, I can take it out to show you. Urgh. This thing right here. This is the Sportster. It's flight test. I think this one uses the Pack C. I mean, no, not the pack C. Pack A, sorry. Pack A, right here is where I. It's the radio that I use. Right out of the way. This is the radio that I use. I believe this is the Spectrum DX6E. Again, this is not in full detail. I will be making another video. Again, I just want to do a quick rundown on the collections that I have. This box in here is, um, I have three, believe it or not, it, what's inside this box is three unbuilt flight test kits. 
so yeah that all fits in this box they're all obviously all minis um we have a few sliders right here um and the back as you can see right there in the back we have a few scraps there's the scraps and, and, and as you can see this box over there that that contains uh, I think a FT Explorer there's a big um you know it has another kit in it that's unbuilt and I'm not sure if you can see but if I move this thing out of the way right there there's another box right in the back that is another plane that's unbuilt so again I have a lot of unbuilt planes um and that's crazy oh I forgot to mention that right what's what's below this is um I have a boat meter right there and yeah that's about it for what's in my bump bed so again I'll give you a quick overview of my bump bed so again down here is where I sleep and up here are all, all, all the planes as I move on this side The helicopter. And this is my RC boat. Moving on this side is my glider. I built that with Rob, my neighbor. Shout out to him. And we have collection and what this is actually right here is actually the glider that I start out of, started out with this is what got me to the hobby so shout out to this I think this is the UMX Radiant um, by Horizon um, it's e-flight um, I mean they're, um, they're um, so, so, so the company is Horizon Hobby that made this but e-flight is, um, is, is um, coming from Horizon so this is the if you find your mice radiant, that's my first plane. I highly recommend it. You got my hobby. And this is the UMX um Horizon Hobby UMX. I think this is the I don't know, but this is the um, um but this is a DCL, a disgust launch glider. I forgot the name of it, but this is a DCL, which is a disgust launch glider, a discus launch glider, my bad. It's basically, it's non-power, you just throw up in the air and then it glides on its own. Pretty cool, but it's not for everybody. And going on top over here, you have, uh, you know, what I like to call, um, that's a wooden um, aircraft, you know, and that thing is six feet in length. Um, obviously, I didn't buy that plane. I have a friend that gave me to, to me. And I guess you just saw me open my closet. We have another unbuilt plane right here. I think this is the, hold on a sec. Okay, I'm back. I just brought my flashlight. I think this is the Spitfire, there we go. This is the Spitfire, it's unbuilt. Again, I have a lot of unbuilt aircraft. I'm gonna hopefully change that in a bit. And right here, all right, I just, you know, changed the lighting a bit. Look at that. Um, I got this thing at a festival event and, um, you know, you can fly your uh, tiny whoop through this thing. It's pretty cool, but I'm gonna show you what's, in, what's underneath this closet. And that is, you guessed it. These are my clothes and you guessed it, more airplane. We have the T-28 Trojan. We also have the Mini Mini Zero that's stored in here. As well as the flight test swappable. I don't know what that is. Hold on a sec. Let me just bring it outside. Yup, you guessed it. 
This is the. Oh my goodness, the the clear of the. Okay, here we go. This is the. See that I can focus. See spear. This is the. This is the um, stats. Hold on, I gotta get rid of that glare because it the glare is and my camera is not good at. Okay, so yeah, this is the um, specifics. Again, I have four on the plane. This is the spear. After the spear, that's the Trojan zero. And that's the speedster. So four of those kits were in my closet. It's a lot that I think about it. Alright, continuing. I have my DJI Mini 2 right here. Again, for point of reference, that is my bed. Bed, and this is the DJI Mini 2 that I have. What I got here is the um, Black Ghost. You guys seen that before in Ron. For those of you who've seen it, it's my Black Ghost RC, RC car. We have a truck right here. And over here, where I put my other RC car, my Chevy. I'm gonna show you what's up there. All right, guys. Before I continue, I just want to let you guys know that this is the hot glue gun that I used to build my um, flight test kits with. Um, again, I'm gonna take you up here. This is this is another view of my RC collection madness. Again, I'm gonna be giving some of these away. I have too much. This is crazy to me. I just have too much. So I'm definitely giving some of these away. It's just madness that, you know, that I think about. It's just madness. All right, so we're gonna start right here. Uh, let me zoom this out a bit. All right, so. So my RC stuff occupies these four closets. One, two, three, four on top. Everything here is all RC related. Now I'm gonna give you guys a sneak peek of what's in here. Give me a sec. All right, I'm back. As you can see, this is a mess. It's just a bunch of, um, so what's in this drawer is I put a bunch of old and used RC parts, so old, small, small, old used RC parts go here. Use like servo, use motor, uh, use FT parts, use, you know, use props, you name it. Anything that's used is there, and everything here is all new. So these are the new parts, maybe except for this motor, this one's used. But um, most of everything here is, you know, in a bag, it's all new. So, for a flight controller that I never opened. This is a wing flight controller actually, but I never opened it. Um, yeah, everything here is just so new parts, you know. For example, this one here, it's all, see it's all new. It's all new parts, right here. So, this is where I store all my New, new parts. Right here is where I stored. Um, I knew, you know, most new parts, but um, things that are bigger in in size, like this FT kit right here. Like this is a pack C. This is a charger. You know, so anything that's usually a bigger size goes from here. And these are where I store my batteries. My battery goes in here. Um, this is where I store them. Again, I'm gonna take them out, but I put all my batteries here inside that fireproof lipo bag. So that in case if the fire goes out on one of the batteries, it's protected by this case. And right here we have extra props. All right. All right, uh, this is a longer than usual video. Um, if you like this content, please, you know, 
give a thumbs up. Um, again, this is not the full video of doing another one in a bit more detail. Obviously, um, the point of this video is just to show you guys, it's just to show you guys um, my overall collection of where I store, not particularly what I have. It's just a general idea of how I store my RC parts, basically. It's not really meant to be a full a full collection um, show, but it's just for me to just show you guys how I store my RC parts. Coming over here, I have, I put these batteries here on the shelf here um, because this is to, to have easy access to it, to my batteries. So these are the batteries that, that I use often. So that's where I store them. Have an idea. And over here is where I store my heat guns. My my hot glue gun is there, but that's not where I usually store it. I usually store it here as well. With the heat guns, that's the heat gun, safety goggles, and there are soldering. So basically this box contains a soldering kit. In case I need to solder because my RC planes run on electric. So there's my soldering kit right there. Heat gun, a hot glue gun will go in here. Um, and over here I have glues, you know, foam safe glues and paints. That's how I paint my aircraft. And yeah, I'm tape. Right down here I have duct tape and extra hot glue in case if in case if needed. Alright guys, like this comment. Thanks subscribe. I think that should be my thumbnail. That looks amazing. I'll keep that as my thumbnail. Picture of it. Yeah, that's my thumbnail right there. Alright. Alright guys, if you like if you like this video, like and subscribe. See you, see you on the next one. Again, um, stay tuned for part two. Um, to then, oh, ha! That's my plane right there. That is my only indoor plane. I forgot to mention. That's my only indoor plane. <laughs> I forgot to mention that. That's my only indoor plane. Um, and that's my indoor toy ish drone indoor plane right there as you can see and a toy car that's a toy grade not a hobby grade that's a toy grade and an old battery and my fruit and a toy what's that a toy mini right there and a few flags all right bye okay just to go over these are my planes currently what I have up here it's a wooden crane that a bong gave me. Um, I have a bunch over here. Um, inside those pits, we have the stuff that I didn't make yet from flight tests. So, well, and if we come down to the basement, so we come down here. Come down to the basement. Oh, come on, it's not even open yet. Oh, come on, I have to open this fence. Okay, fence is open. Oh, oops. Down to the basement. So, this is my yellow plane right here. This is a stall, short takeoff and landing. Um, one of my friends gave me that plane. And over here, this is the one I'm, I'm about to give away. To an RC club, I really gonna get to get this away because this these planes here takes up too much space. So it will be this one, the AS3X Division Visionaire. I'm gonna be giving this thing away because I just have too much too much planes in my house, and you know that there is not enough space. So you know I have to I have to give this away. That I'm keeping for now, but I'm definitely giving that away. So here you go. This is my basement. I'm giving that plane away. Look at that. That just takes up a lot of space, and you know that's the plane I'm gonna be giving away. So okay, there you have it. Oh, and by the way, I forgot to mention that this short short take of landing has this big wheels right here. They're big wheels, so it can go on obstacles. Kind of cool, right? And people always say this is a taxi plane, whereas that that's a three D plane. Well, my friend gave it to me, but I have no use for it, so I'm probably going to give that away.